Hi, my name is J.D. Thomas, and welcome to Just Go Breathe. I'm very passionate about uh, what we're going to talk about today because it's the very animating force of everything that I do in my life, and it is breath. So what does breath mean? What does it mean to you? I often ask this question in my workshops, and the answer is uh, life, energy, uh, abundance, expression, uh, an opportunity to relax, to, to relieve stress, to, to let go of toxins. And all of those are right. Uh, and there's so much more to breath as well. So we're going to look at the history of breath throughout somebody's life. Okay? And, and you're at a, at a huge advantage if you have any animals in your house or especially if you have a newborn. So if we were to watch a newborn to see how they breathe, or an animal for that matter, they take a deep inhale, and it, it's amazing because children are so full of life that the inhale is just abundant. They look like a little balloon. So a deep inhale, relaxed exhale, uh, and what's most important is there's no pauses. And so they're in the flow of life. Uh, they're in the flow. Breath is in the flow of, of their body. So let's look at a few attributes of children in general uh, about their life, okay? So in the first few years of life, if you watch a child that's, uh, say, two or three years old, you'll notice that they're, they're creative, they're imaginative, they're full of life, they're full of uh, abundance and expression, they, they, they're not afraid to, to cry or to yell or scream or express themselves if they need to. Uh, they're, they're open to every aspect of themselves. Their, their thoughts, their emotions, nothing is suppressed yet. They're, they're completely open. And what we find is if we made a list of what we really want in our life, it's as though we really want to get back to that, that innocence, that playfulness and, and, and joy that we can observe when we see very, very young children at a few years of age. And, and that's why we love being around children as adults, because they, they bring out that, that life in us. It's it's as though we're living vicariously through them. One of the most interesting uh, aspects of understanding breathing is the fact that we all breathe differently. You know, we, we think that we're all breathing the same air, and so we must be uh, just doing it naturally uh, because the body takes care of it. It's not something we have to really think about. And yet, we all breathe differently because we have different experiences in life. Uh, we have different emotions uh, at different times in our life. We hold on to different uh, suppressed energies, uh, different, different suppressed emotions and thoughts. So our body begins to reflect and our respiratory system begins to reflect uh, what's going on in life. So this is very interesting because we can understand the science of, of the emotions, the mind, and the physical body, and how they're all related. Now, the, the truth of the matter is, if we change our breath, if we get back to the natural breathing pattern, for example, we, we talked about how a baby breathes, then we can literally transform our life. And so the reflexive relationship between breath is life and life is breath, is it's, it's literal. It, it really is. It can change your life. And and I know you're thinking, well, you know, I breathe all the time. Uh, it's, I'm doing fine. I don't need to change anything. And yet, all I would say is try it. Mm -hmm.